Hey there everyone, this is Chris from the Tech Basement coming to you on a Saturday before Christmas 2018. Today we're going to look at the CPU water block from the Phoenix series from EK. Well, this has been an interesting road for me and I've learned a couple things with putting this water block on here and these little tidbits is what I want to share with you what in this part of the series. Is mounting this properly onto this motherboard. Now, the water block here is a little tricky, um, but then again, this, is ha this has been one of those builds that I have never done before, and I'm learning a lot about it. First of all, the straight and forward, with the motherboard, you just, if you have an AM motherboard, AM4, or I forget what the AM, AM3, I think it also uh, works with, you just take the square metal, make sure the bumps are showing out here. In other words, you have the edge right along here for that. Now, of course, your rubber grommet, or whatever you want to call it, underneath there. Now, just line the holes up on those make sure you have your little plastic there's plastic spacers here and these are very important to put them on there uh, what you have are these spacers that are gonna one I think what the one of the purposes is for is to prevent any type of shorting out with this also within the engineering design i'm pretty sure it helps keep away from uh, your capacitors your resistors and different components like that now what i want to show you real quick like is the proper way to put the brackets on your water block here like i have it right now so let's move this aside real quick like and then look at the water block and the way that it should look. First of all, what you want to do is make sure that these, the block, the brackets themselves are on top of here. I'll show you real quick, like on top of the existing water block feet, whatever you want to call them. Uh, like I said, on top of it and then this part right here the bright the bracket that it's gonna all come onto on the motherboard you want that to be even with this foot also so you don't want it above this foot you want it right even with it now when you put when you put this on here you want to take the screw and put it on the bottom. But one of the tricks that I want to pass on to you real quick like is when you go to put these on to the uh, feet here, what you want to do for this is for adjustment purposes because these these move around what you want to do is tighten these up just a little bit so it'll move so when you go to put the the brackets right where they're supposed to right around there it will move to where you need it but if they're snug when i say snug i mean just barely tight so they just barely can move when you pull it out, all you got to do is tighten it up and you have it exactly where it needs to be. This one is already tightened to where I know it needs to be, but I'll show you real quick like what I'm talking about. So that's really t loose. As you can see, they move with gravity. So let's tighten this up just a little and make sure that Gravity doesn't do anything with them. This one's a little too loose for my my comfort. There we go. Gravity is not doing anything. And you can. This one's a little tighter, probably a little tighter than what I would want it to be. 
but if you want them a little tighter and they're, they still can move, that's fine as well. Also, through my, see, if they're a little tight, they can be a little bit of a bugger. But uh, let's see here, what do we got going on? All right, all right, there we go. All right, see, you have it right on there. It clears the uh, capacitors and resistors when you put this together properly. So uh, there you go. And just go like this, take it off. Make sure, just make sure they're good and tight real quick like. And that one's good and tight, good and tight. Make sure nothing moves though on you while you're tightening them or else you'll be doing it over. Okay. So there we go. This should just slide right on hopefully. Unless I didn't see. Just like that. It's going to fit fairly snug and tight. You're clear on your capacitors and resistors and you're good to go. Also you can do it this way as well depending on how you want to orientate your your tubing here. So that's all up to you. EK has made it very simple and uh, if you follow the instructions, very painless. So, so there you go everyone. That is the best, easiest way and recommended way by EK to install your water block. Now don't do what I do and go against what you think needs to be done in order for things to fit on your motherboard. If you do, you might not come out in a good way. I am just uh, happy that this was not torn off or anything like that. It's just a small little dent. I don't think that's what caused my problem with my RAM here on the motherboard. I have checked my RAM in other systems and the RAM is running just fine. So something happened to this motherboard. I did connect this up properly, exactly the way they showed it in the picture. So I'm not sure what's going on there. If uh, Asus comes back and says that it was caused by uh, a water block and connecting it up to the motherboard, I will be talking to EK about this and I will go through my video that I, I shot when I uh, did the insta installation, installation with the water block initially. So let me know what you think about this whole thing. Uh, my lessons learned, my lessons shared with you and all that good stuff. So hit that like hit that dislike, whatever your uh, preference is, and hit the subscribe button. Please hit that uh, notification button and you'll, you'll receive more of those notifications about the series here and other uploads I put on there. Cause believe it or not, that notification button is working. I'm getting a lot of them now. So, I would like to say thank you for coming by, especially those first uh, time viewers. A Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and Chris is saying out.